Greetings and salutations, welcome to episode 30. We're getting so old. 30, the big 3 0. I'd like you to now close your eyes and bow your heads. There has been a, p- a sale, a transfer out of the club, and it's one of the club heroes. It's Zach Clough. Unfortunately, well, fortunately, I did it on purpose. He didn't actually, he didn't sneak out. I sold Zach Clough in the January transfer window. We are now on the 3rd of February. Um, all the transfers are done. We've got a couple of really good signings in the club. Um, and uh, we sold Zach Clough to finance it. So let's have a look. Let's have a look. It's a sad day. It's a sad day. So on the outs, um, <clears throat> there it is. Zach Clough. Left the club for £10 million. Not as much as I hoped. He was valued, I think, at 9.5 or something. Um, I was hoping for a little bit more. I probably could have got more in the summer transfer window. But because of the, per- the the player that I bought in, I needed the money. He was the obvious choice to go. And so, sadly, he's gone to Werder Bremen in Germany. Um, sad to see him go. He was, he was great for us. He spent his career with us. He, was, he did okay. Um, did pretty well on the goal-scoring front for us. But you'll see who we bought in. You probably looked. You probably cheeky looked. We also sold Papadopoulos. Now I, I was I had high hope for this guy. So I was a little bit worried because he had twenty aggression and he dives into tackles. But he was actually not doing too many crazy things. Um, a little, a few of you were worried about the signing, saying that you'd got him and he actually wasn't that good. Um, and this was more to raise cash as well, £3.5 million. Pounds. Um, he just started to drop off form-wise, and I thought, OK, you know, he's not as good as I'd hoped. We took a bit of a loss on him, but so what? You know, we make profit on most of our players, so taking a bit of loss, we one of those deals. Like I said, his form was just dropping off a little bit. I dropped him from the team, and I thought, and I got another English centre-back in. I want to get a few more English players. So... <clears throat> Let's go back to the history. Um, and a few loans out. So, the players we bought in. This is the player we already signed. Um, Lugo, that we talked about. You guys were pretty much in exact agreement with me, which was to loan him out. Um, play Dembele, rotate Dembele and Henry K. Loan this guy out, get him some game time. Amazingly, I loaned him to Crew in League 2. Right? <laughs> Like, imagine if you were in League 2 and you signed this fucking guy. You'd be, like, wetting yourself. Um, so he's gone to crew for three months. Uh, played a couple of games so far. Got an assist. I think he'll, he should tear up that league quite quickly. Um, I know some, you might say, oh, you know, maybe you should assign, sent him to a place with better, you know, a higher league or something. But our goal also, our little sub goal, is to try and get crew promoted to League 1. Um, so that should help them. That should really help them push into playoffs. If you look at their team, um, Crew's team, there's a lot of our players in here. <laughs> Sam Zadar's the hair. We've we've got Lugo, got Fuller, got Wazzy, got Fabi. You know, we, we're we're building their team nicely for them. So and also they've got really good training facilities and amazing youth facilities. So so hopefully that will help anyway. So on the rest of the inns. <clears throat> Andre Wisdom was an interesting one. I got him on loan just in the January because I thought, well, I'll have, you know, extra centre-back, a uh, bit more depth. Um, and then and he played really well. And I played, He played about four games in January and he played really well. So I actually then sold Papadopoulos and signed him for 2.7, I think. Yeah, 2.7 million. We loaned him in three games, 7.1 average. I was like, OK, he's performing quite well. Um and so I signed him. He plays centre-back, but he can also play right-back, which is quite handy. So very happy with that. <coughs> You'll see some of the others. We'll go. We'll get to the good ones in a minute. Um, Mohamed Al-Sayed from Ismili. I, I bought this guy, 250000 Um He's now loaned out. He didn't actually get his work permit, but I thought, fuck it. You know, it's, it's, it's no money. It's a little gamble. I'll take it. 18-year-olds, Egyptian. I'm hoping he will get his work permit. I've sent him off to, to Lek in... Um, it, shit, where's Lek? France, isn't it? Just had a brain fart. Italy. I knew it was Italy, and I know it said France. Um, to get a bit of experience, hopefully pick his uh, work permit up next year. Uh, you know, a little gamble. <clears throat> As we said, got Andre Wisdom in. Just a solid centre-back option. Nice to have another British player in the team. Then we picked up Sergi Sampa from Barcelona. I was chuffed to see this guy. He was transfer listed. Um, he can play as a sort of defensive midfielder, but also central midfield. So that kind of covers both those options that we kind of rotate. 
Um, I do like him. He's still only 23 years old. Valued at 7 million. We picked him up 3.9. And he plays like... His ratings are ridiculous for Barcelona B. Um, so very happy to get him. But the main man from Real Madrid is Marco Asensio. Look at this guy. Okay, ignore the arrows. He's, he's had a little knock. Look at this. He's, he's a beastie. If we compare him to basically his, who we, he replaced... <coughs> You'll see that he's just a better player. Uh, same age. Um, slightly less attacking, but better vision, which is great for that wing position. Technical, Much better technical. Better in the air, which is quite good because we know those inside forwards get forward. He's a bit quicker. I think he's just a superb young player. He's a little bit taller as well, so hopefully he'll win a few more headers. Um, just a very good player. Can play behind the striker. And vers more versatile than Zach Clough as well. Can play behind the striker. Can play central midfield, which he did really well. But also can play as the um, winger or inside forwards. So that's that's what we're doing. So there are signings. So I didn't really expect to spend any money in January. But then once Asensio I saw that was available. And then there was a sort of avalanche of signings to raise the money and stuff and then I saw that Sampa is available so then I'd sell Papadopoulos and you know all that good stuff <clears throat> so this is how the team looks at the moment we are a little bit weirdly one-sided because um, Kennedy is a left we've got too many left footers now which is unusual well, normally it's too many rights two left footers which is not ideal but I'm going to mix them up and see who can play best on the left as that inside forward. Kennedy's got a decent right foot on him, so I'm going to start him there. Um, and, yeah, so the tactic at the moment is the three central midfielders. Um, that's what we're going with. Uh, the rest is the same. I've played about with it a little bit. I've now gone for a complete forward on support for Henry K, um, and that got him a goal. I should have really advanced to the next game, or just waffled as I was progressing. So we'll look at the results in a second. They've actually been pretty decent, uh, very decent, superb, in fact, um, since the slight change in formation. Oh, and I've also taken um, work, I think, I, did I take it off? Yeah, work ball into box. I took that off and I told them to whip crosses because we haven't really got any big sort of target men. So um, that's good. Also in the, in the <laughs> January transfer windows, you know, um, Castiles was wanted by like 10 clubs. Um, sorry, that's my dog. Loki! Oi! Shut the fudge up, man! <whistles> I don't know what he's barking at, neighbours. Um, and so I did have him transfer listed because I thought I could raise some money, get in a young goalkeeper. And then Majkovic, or Wajkovic, got injured. <laughs> and then I, he's had to play for the last sort of six games. He's actually done really well. So I then took him off the transfer list. He's then very unhappy that I didn't sell him. Um, yeah, that, so that didn't go too well. But he's been playing very well. Dodo also complained because I must have rejected 20 different offers of, for him in the January transfer windows. Patterson, which was the most disappointing. He, I was getting a ton of offers for him in the January transfer window. And he wasn't upset. He was like, no, I'm happy to stay at the club. Until like the final bid on the final day that I rejected. He was like, no, I want to leave now, boss. So that's a little bit of annoying. That's kind of that's the trouble with small teams that aren't in Europe is that as soon as they play well, they go, oh, I should be playing in Champions League and stuff like this. Um, Tyler Roberts is wanted by Stoke. His value's gone up to six million now, so we've, we we we'll make a steady profit on him if he didn't if he didn't quite make it. The trouble is, you get youngsters in like this, and you think, oh, this is great, but then you buy so many good players that they look not so good. <laughs> He's still a very good player. Um, He's got Welsh player of the young player of the year twice in a row. He is the next Gareth Bale. Right. So, on to our game today, which is, well, in a week's time, which is Manchester United. I thought I'd come back for this one. Everybody lo loves a good Manchester United. They're still in 12th. They're doing a Chelsea. They are shit. Um, very happy to see that happening. We are ninth currently. I'll show you the results in a second when... Uh, Oh, was that Castile's set? Oh, look, he wants to stay now. No other fucker wants him. <laughs> I love when they do that. Yeah, I want to stay, boss. Why is that? Oh, nobody wants you. Yeah, that, that would make sense then. Let's have a look at the results. <clears throat> After the Liverpool game, wasn't it, we drew. We then drew again. one all with West Ham. Kennedy getting a late equaliser after a Valencia late goal. Crystal Palace at home, one all. Christopher Ayer, just, uh, just on half-time, getting an equaliser. And it was just, we weren't doing well with our chances. We were creating okay. Um, 
we then played a sort of not second string, but we played a bunch of the youngsters and um it didn't go well, which I'm not too bothered about this season, Premiership survival. So then we were sort of changing the tactics up a little bit. We've got some of our new signings in. Um, we beat Leicester at away 2-1. Kennedy and Tyler Roberts getting the goals. Really good to see both of those. That was a scorcher from about 30 yards, the Kennedy goal. It was beautiful. We then beat Swansea away 3-0. Henrique Kennedy and Asensio from central midfield, his first game was, um, getting a goal. Very happy with that. We then beat Reading 2-1. Aya and Henrique getting the goals. So he's starting to score a few more, Henrique. Um, and then we drew with Watford away, which is a bit of a bummer. But Kennedy scoring another goal. Good to see him on the goal trail. Then we beat Tottenham, who I think was second in the league. A fantastic result. We scored first. Aya scored in the 25th minute. Lamella equalised from a corner in the 41st. And then Asensio, playing as the inside forward on the left-hand side, scored an 89th minute winner. He basically already paid for himself at this point. Um, he's basically given us sort of six points. So we are doing well. We're undefeated for a bunch of games. Three, eight games in the league. Very happy with that. Today we've got quite bad opponents. I was going to say drastic opponents. Man United, obviously struggling this season, but obviously still a very good team. And QPR, who are rock bottom of the league. If we look at the league table, you'll see that they are seven points adrift. They need to pick up some wins in the next few games. Otherwise, they're going to do an Aston Villa. Man United, what the fuck is happening to Manchester United? Who's their... Bastian Schweinsteiger is still the captain. Well, there you go. He's still the fact he's still there is should say all you need to know about this club and what they've fucked up this season. Um, yeah, they, it's not like they didn't spend money. Look at the fucking money they spent. Again, ninety-four million. They did bring in eighty-eight. They sold Marshall to Real Madrid for forty-two million. Uh, Memphis Depay for thirty-six million, and they bought in El Shrari, who we know is a good player. Um, that's that's a lot of money though. Um, Abubakar, another player we know to be very good. Um, Romero, Lucas Romero, the central midfielder, who's who's a decent player. Um, Adrian Thomason from FC Nantes. Okay, that seems good all rounder, but that seems like a lot of money. Um, and Jimmy Girard from Troyes for two million, who looks like a oh very good. Oh man, how did I miss out on him? Bastard. Oh well. Oh well. <clears throat> we'll see how they do. I'm currently uh, preparing um, for my Amsterdam trip this weekend. Um, oh. Two months out. Henrique. Brilliant. Okay. Okay. Well, he's had a bunch of games recently, so he's improved. So, okay. We'll, we'll, we can deal with that. We've got a number of players that can play up. Okay, Patterson sets the stay because nobody wants him. Yes, yeah, so we've been planning for our trip to Amsterdam. I'll make sure that um, I record enough videos around... We're leaving Friday morning, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. But I try, I'll try. i make sure to try... I'm not promising anything, but I'll try and leave um, some videos uploaded and have them scheduled to come out over the weekend. It might not be two a day like it is now, but it might it'll be at least one a day. So maybe rotate the Bromby and the Bolton saves. Just so it gives you guys something to watch over the weekend. And you can leave lots of lovely comments for me when I come back. Yeah. Something like that. Right. Um, Jovski is our weak link. Well, yeah. But he's been like torn calf muscle for six months. So, well done. I'm not commenting on it. I'm bigger than that, man. I'm not struggling in 12. <laughs> right. It's away from home. It's on the TV. Can we beat Manchester United? I know 93% of the subscribers and watchers of my channel would love it to happen. Right. Here we go. Let's pick the team. Henry K is not going to play, funny enough. Um, see, Castile's been playing fucking well. I think if he... He's, oh. You've got an unhappy player who's not as good playing better. Do you keep him in? That's the question. No. I think I would have if he was not unhappy. I think because he pissed me off with all his bitchy leavingness, I He can fuck off. Um, Ali Sadin is being um, tutored by the legend that is Dean Moxie. Because um, why not? Right. So Kennedy's going to play on the left. Essentially on the right. This is the first time we've done that. I think it's the best solution to something that's not quite... A perfect fit at the moment. 
airs the box to box midfielder, which he seems to love. He gets it gets a number of goals from that position. Right, so we played them three times. It's one win to Man United, one win to us, and one draw. Right, I think we'll only have to do one game this episode because I've waffled on for so very, very long. Sorry about that. <clears throat> right, so they're going to Bubakar, David Klassen, they're playing up front. Um, he's the Norwegian. Fucking, I always say Norwegian, he's always Dutch, he's never changed. I always say that, one matter's still there. Um, Banana Silva, Herrera, Schneidlin. Okay, yeah, that's all right. It's not a bad team. How are you fucking 12th? That's the question. Pick up where you left off. It's only Man United. Right. Oh, it's a snowy day in Manchester. Where's the... Is that the... Is that the snowball? It's not very yellow. I wish you could... Random... Improvement I like. I wish you could alter the text of the names of the people. I'm old and blind. I need to see. I'd like to have slightly bigger text on the player names, please. Just if you're watching devs, which obviously you're a big fans of the show. Classen. No, easy goal. Oh, what a save. Oh, what a double save that is. Fucking hell. That's ridiculous. That second one. Right, look, hang on. Is this the hard? Oh, that was that was before. I'm not very good with highlights. I don't watch very many highlights. Right, here it goes. Let's speed it up a little bit. What a double save this is! Now, wisdom heads it away. Decent head away. Troy always chests it down. Tries to turn his man. Plays it to Asensio. This is the fucking highlight. They better. They need to get it. There's, I'm fucking retard, aren't I? Look at that. Where is it? It's there, isn't it? It's fucking there. Surely. Because that's the highlighty bit. Well, I'm a knobhead. Right. So it's throwing to Man United. Sorry for this, people. I don't do it very often. You can see why. Carver Howell throws it in. Simple throw to Bernardo. Got a bit of time. Tries to beat his man. Great tackle from Treore, but he can't recover it. Herrera gets it. Plays it to Mata. First time ball to Car Carvajal. Lovely ball inside. Beats Dodo. Klassen takes a touch. Simple pass. Bubakar smashes the key. But look at this one. Oh, look at that. He's deflected off wisdom. <laughs> and he still managed to save it. What a pick. What a managerial decision that was to bring him back. Oh, we got it on fucking super slow mode now. What a decision to bring it back. I know I've watched lots of YouTubers, especially FM YouTubers and stuff, and I see people, I, and I've had a few comments on my channel over the, over the sort of six months I've been doing it, that about, oh, can you speed up the highlights, please, a bit more? And I, I don't know about you guys, it's weird, because I watch, when I watch channels where the highlights are too fucking quick, and you can't really pay attention to what's happening, I think we should go counter-attacking, I've just realised. I think this is a nice speed so you can actually watch the football as it unfolds. Kennedy, ball forward to Dembele, he's not going to get there. The man mountain that is Chris Smalling gets it away. Also, I was, I, was, I was thinking of doing some sort of show for the Euros. Obviously, at the end of the season, we've got the Euros. And I was thinking of doing maybe a, a roundup show or something like that. No idea. That, I'm just throwing out ideas that have just come to me, really. There's no thought to that at all. I was just thinking that'd be quite cool. You know, so we can talk about how fucking England fucked it up again. Right, here come Man United again. Played out Bernardo Silva. Cuts inside. Lovely ball. Go on, is he going to hit one? He does. And Mikovic just casually like, whatever, mate. Right, we haven't had many chances, but we've kept a nil-nil. That's good. We just need one cheeky little breakaway goal. Right, Chayor plays Asensio. Not seen much of our attacking players this game at all, really. I'm commentating the kickoff like an... Oh, oh. Oh, there's a goal ref. I don't know how he's offside. Right. 
I have a new app on my phone that's basically a coffee shop map of Amsterdam. That's going to be good fun. Luke Shaw, one of the best left backs in the game. Mikovic is just there. He's all day. He's back from injury. He's raring to go. Plays it short to Patterson, who disappears into the abyss. Nothing is happening on the attack in front this game. Come on, boys. Let's have a highlight for us. Oh, watch out, everybody. Schweinsteiger's on. I knew he was going to be a flop when they signed him. Um, there's no way, like, a legend of the club. I'm going to put Roberts. Let me just have a, <coughs> a Man United rant for a minute. Um, there's no way a legend of the club, like Bastian Schweinsteiger was at Bayern Munich, would be let go if he had any ounce of playing power left in him. I feel like they would just never let him go. And yet they did. So that sort of says all you need to know about why you shouldn't sign him for big money. I know he's not on. He was. He didn't cost a massive amount, but I think he's on stupid wages, isn't he? Right, come on, boys. Luke Shaw's injured. There is the least shocking news you've heard today. Um. Ba -ba 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 -ba. I don't. Hmm. Moxie. Come on, Moxie. You had a good assist ratio last season. Can you provide a bit? And he gets a yellow card. That was fucking quick, mate. Well done. That's impressive. Before you even got a rating, you had a yellow card. Oh, another yellow card. Three minutes left. Are we going to have much Fergie time? Oh, it's a corner. Can we nick it? At the death. Oh, no. Come on. Sampa, run, Sampa. Blow up, ref. That's enough now. That's enough. No Fergie time. Thank you. And a ball draw at Old Trafford, which we'll take. I'm sure they'll be unhappy, though, which is fantastic. Good stuff. And there we shall leave it. The unbeat... Dembele hasn't scored for a while. Ignore that. Um, the unbeaten <laughs> run goes to nine games. Finances-wise, got a million in the bank. We're just kind of chugging along at evens at the moment. Our projection is 13 million at the end of the season. That's mostly prize money and a bit of TV rev. Um, we will look at the schedule. We want to zip on to this season now. So I think we'll come back for... Oh, look at the last four games of the season. We've got that chunk again. Oh, that's horrible. We've got it in the exact same fucking order. Arsenal, Man City, no, Chelsea... Other way around. Okay, so we need to be safe by then. Um, we're on 38 points. We're safe. So we don't have to worry about that. It's all about where we finish in the season for the competition now. So we will play to there probably. We'll come back for Wolves, Burnley. Some easy games for once. Actually, Burnley is 7th and Wolves are 11th. Okay, quite fucking football leagues upside down. Right. Thank you very much for joining me, guys. If you enjoyed the episode, please hit that thumbs up button. That would be fantastic. Thank you so much for all the support you give me. It's quite amazing, really, for a little little old channel like me. Well on our way to a thousand subscribers, and do subscribe if you're new to the place, and leave your comments in the boxes below. I love you all. Bye bye.